coach as a pediatric resident first of all uh, we'll be talking about the history and the clinical presentation now presentation in these patients can be either antenatal or it can be postnatal i hope you know that if ultrasound is done then many of the meningomyelocele can be diagnosed sometimes if no ultrasound is done then you you will have a postnatal presentation of mmc the postnatal presentation if the patient is coming what can be the postnatal presentation in other words what can be the postnatal chief complaints with which the newborn will be brought to the hospital so they will say there is a midline swelling at the back you can remember that this is the most common postnatal presentation the most common postnatal presentation will be a midline swelling in the back usually found in the thoracolumbar region can also occur in the sacral region as well sometimes they will say there is a cranial or cranio cervical malformation which can be isolated uh, and which can be a part of the entire spectrum of the spinal cord and the head and neck involvement and thirdly there can be cutaneous stigmata like tuft of hair hemangioma lipomas in the lumbosacral region remember that if this kind of presentation is there then you will think of likely meningocele or meningomyelocele if this kind of presentation is there then you will think of the cranial neural tube defects you will not think of the caudal neural tube defects and on the other hand if this cutaneous stigmata is present like a tuft of hair lipomas hemangiomas in the lumbosacral region then you will think of what you will think of yes spina bifida occulta you will think of occulta means hidden chupa hua in the i hope you know the theory part you are supposed to read the theory part also but here i am touching the clinical part so before i go further i let's do a quick revision mentally neural tube defects there is a formation or difficulty in the closure of the neuropores in the primitive neural tube most of them involve neuro neural tube involvement in the third or fourth week of intrauterine life you have broadly two varieties cranial and caudal cranial are usually more severe it includes conditions like anencephaly it includes encephalocele it includes encephaly and so on and then you have the caudal neural tube defects which includes meningocele spina bifida occulta spina bifida occulta is absolutely asymptomatic and exact prevalence is difficult to ascertain it is found in the general population and you also have the meningomyelocele which is the case we are discussing so in neural tube defect patient you will have three types of presentation so if the presentation is like this one you will think of meningocele or meningomyelocele if the presentation is like this one you will think of cranial neural tube defect and if the presentation is like this you will think of spina bifida occulta so these are the three types of presentation you can find in a patient of neural tube defect and these will be your chief complaints in the question mm -hmm.